Welcome to your Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. It's Monday, March 2nd. I'm Emma Soden. And I'm Jeremiah George. Happy National Read Across America Day. And now for your weather. Hello and welcome to weather. There's a chance of rain today with highs climbing into the 50s with lows in the 30s. For the rest of the week, it's looking very nice except Tuesday. Tuesday, there's a chance of rain with highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. Wednesday and Thursday is looking sunny with highs in the 50s and lows in the, in the 30s, but looking a little cloudy on Wednesday. That's all for your local weather updates. Hey, all you Bulldog fans, listen up. Have we got a sick deal for you. If you are interested in, right, in taking the pub bus to the girls' game Wednesday night, and you just have to have money for food, the bus will leave at 3.15, sign up in the office by Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Congratulations to the girls on winning their district championship game. We do have t-shirts on sale for $13, but you do have to place your order by today at 3 o'clock with Jackie. Now for your local news. Anyone interested in learning about a career in teaching or education is invited to attend a career day at MSU. The event is free to students and includes a lunch. We'll be taking a bus if there's enough interest. The date is Friday, April the 3rd. See Ms. Linscott for more information or to sign up. Seniors, check the website often. New and local scholarships are being added daily. The first softball practice will be today and you must have an up-to-date physical. There are lots of job postings on the Red Information Bulletin Board outside the office. Check it out for possible summer jobs that are available. Seniors, please turn in your pic senior picture and letter to Ms. Miller by Friday, March 13th. And that's all for your local news. Now for your lunchtime announcements. Early Hall's West Hall. Monday there's no meetings. Tuesday FCA Bible Study will meet. Wednesday NIC will meet. Uh, Thursday is Stuco and Friday FCA. For your breakfast options on Tuesday, we'll be having breakfast sliders, pancake sausage griddle, cereal, oatmeal, and oatmeal bar toppings. For our lunch options, we will have mozzarella dunkers with tomato soup, cheese pizza, ham and cheese pinwheel, and a cheeseburger. That's all for your lunchtime announcements. Hello and welcome to birthdays. Today we have no local birthdays, but we would like to wish a happy birthday to Dr. Seuss, American children's author, born in Springfield, Massachusetts. Also, happy birthday to Desi Arnaz, Cuban-American actor who played Ricky Ricardo in I Love Lucy, born in Santiago de Cuba. That's all for your birthdays and now to your sports. Hello and welcome to sports. Congratulations to the girls on winning the district championship. We are very proud of you. Baseball and softball and track start soon, so keep an eye out for that. That's all for your sports and now over your national day. Hi and welcome to your national day. Happy National Read Across America Day, or also known as Dr. Seuss Day. Each year, National Read Across America Day is celebrated on March 2nd, the birthday of Dr. Seuss. The Motivational Awareness Day calls all children, all children and youth in every community across the United States to celebrate reading. The more you, that you read, the more things you'll know. The more that you learn, the more places you go. And that's all for your National Day. Over the last few weeks, the audiovisual class has been creating public service announcements, also known as PSAs, about vaping. Vaping is an epidemic that is affecting many people that we all know and love. Because vaping is still relatively new, little is known about the long-term effects it will have on people's health. However, early research is not favorable. This week, we will be airing public service announcements on the sick news. Please pay close attention to each one. Next week, you will be voting for which one you feel sends the best message to stop vaping. We know these PSAs will not change everyone's mind about the dangers of vaping, but we hope that they will at least make you stop and think about all of the harm you are doing to yourself, as well as all of the unknowns still out there you may not encounter until you are older. Thank you for your time. It is commonly stated that the modern vaping was invented in 2003 by Chinese pharmacist Han Lick, but tobacco companies have been developing nicotine generation devices since as early as 1963. As of 2018, 95% of e-cigarettes were made in China. Most vapes contain nicotine, the addictive drug in regular cigarettes, cigars, and other tobacco products. A recent CDC study found that 99% of the e-cigarettes sold in 
assess venues in the United States. Some vape labels do not disclose that they contain nicotine, and some vape marketed as containing 0% nicotine have been found to contain nicotine. Using nicotine in adolescents can harm the parts of the brain that control attention, learning, mood, and impulse control. Each time a new memory is created or a new skill is learned, stronger connections or synopsis are built between brain cells. Young people's brains build synopsis faster than adult brains. Nicotine changes the way these synopsis are formed. Learn anything new about vaping? I learned that it can really harm you until the age of 25. So moral of the story is stay safe and don't vape. The word of the day is respective, meaning belonging or relating separately to each of two or more people or things. A sentence for this word is the animal trainer put the lion and tiger in their respective cages. That's all for your news. Have a great rest of your day. And that's your news with a Z. Now for your random fact of the day. Dr. Seuss was the first person to use the word nerd. He wrote it in the book, If I Ran the Zoo, about a white-haired and red and yellow sourpuss. <laughs>